Good morning YouTube friends, it's Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead and today I'm going to show you step by step how to make candles. Okay, um, I teach a homesteading class at our homeschooling group in uh, Joplin on Tuesdays and this week we make candles and um, I feel that it's just kind of a lost art. People don't make candles anymore and after making them um, again, I just realized how easy it is and how I haven't done that in a very long time. And with the colder weather approaching here in the Midwest, a lot of times we lose our electricity. And so candles are a necessity. And if you go out and buy a candle, say this size, it can be quite pricey, especially because it comes with a little glass jar. Um, and it's so simple to make. And it's fun and it's nice to know that you did it yourself. So we made, in our class, we made candles this size. They smell amazing. This is soy wax, and um, it melts evenly, which is wonderful for candles, because a lot of times you'll see a candle and half the wax is all over the jar. With the soy candles, it melts really evenly, which is wonderful, so you don't end up wasting a lot of it. This here is beeswax, which I absolutely love. It burns slower and lasts longer. It's also more expensive. So we did not do beeswax because we have a budget that I have to stick with um, each week. But each week in our homesteading class, I try to teach them a skill um, of some sort. Most of the kids are completely oblivious and have no idea what even homesteading is anymore, which is so sad. Parents nowadays, you know, things are so convenient. We buy things out of a box. Um, no one makes anything anymore, so I've been trying each week to come up with something, something simple that I can give a little nugget of, um, you know, to them that they may, you know, carry on and do themselves. And then I give them homework and I make them do it throughout the week. So some of the things that we've done have been, you know, this week they have to make a candle on their own, which should be interesting. Um, we've done butter, we've made butter, we've made homemade deodorant. And we have also done biscuits this far. So each week, a little something, which has been a lot of fun. But anyway, we're going to jump into this right now. I've got a bunch of jars clean and ready to go. I have soy wax melting on the stovetop right now. Um, it's like a 16-ounce bag, and it comes in these little granules, like right here, which are so simple to just melt down. It's just a little, you know, just kind of a... As you can tell, they're just granules that have already been um, grated up. And then this here is paraffin wax. As you can tell, it kind of melted weird in, the, in our car. But this I'm going to have to break up and grade. Or maybe, hopefully, if I can get this chunk small enough, I won't have to grade it. And I can just stick it straight in the um, candle pot and then melt it down. But right now, I have um, the wax melting. And we are going to make a vanilla honey, um, or wait, it's a, yeah, honey vanilla um, candle. And the scent is simply amazing. You can use essential oils. This is just a fragrant oil because um, it would take quite a bit of essential oils. It might be a little bit more expensive. So we were trying to keep things a little bit, um, you know, cost effective for our students. Anyway, here are the wicks. And I want to tell you, if you have a Hobby Lobby around, I use a 40% off coupon every time I go there to buy my um, supplies. And so the bag, the 16 ounce bag of soy wax um, was $9.99. It was on sale 30% off. So I couldn't use my coupon for a discount. But if it had not been, yeah, I would have gotten 40% off. So it's nice to, to know that you can kind of have a little app on your phone from Hobby Lobby and just pull up that 40% coupon for everything. Even the wicks, I needed to go in and get more wicks. I got 40% off of the wicks, which they were only $2.99, which is great. So keep that in mind. And you get 12 wicks for $2.99. So anyway, the wax I think is already um, melted. I'm going to put the jars out. I don't know how many I'm gonna get filled. I love this little size. This is like a little votive almost, just a little bit bigger than a votive. Okay, I'm going to put those out and start pouring and see how that works. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. And it's nice to designate different things, certain things for, you know, candle making or whatever, like I use this little old funnel. And then also, if you're making, you know, quick candles or something, you can do it in glass, but it's hard to pour and it gets hot. So, um, as you can tell, I'm going to show it to you there. It's all melted. This is soy wax. Um, and again, I said, this one melts really quickly and also what's wonderful about it is it burns evenly. So I'm going to go ahead and start pouring my wax into the jars and you don't want to go up too high. Probably right to where the rim is is a good spot to stop. So then once I've done and filled them all, I will put the wicks in and we'll add the scent. These are a little bit bigger. And you know, guys, this makes such perfect gifts to give for Christmas, birthdays. People love candles. I absolutely love candles, and my kids know it. And, you know, to go out and buy, you know, a candle, especially those expensive ones, um, Yankee Candle, I think is what they're called, they can be up to $25. Who has $25 just for a candle? And this here, I would say, you know, making all of these candles won't even cost that me $25. Okay, I think I'm just gonna top off. I've got a little bit more, but look at that. That 16 ounce bag made eight candles. And these ones are probably double the size of these. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to what I'm going to do is, once I get the scent in and the wicks, I'm going to bring you back once they harden. The one thing with the soy candles that you'll find, it takes a long time for them to harden up, depending on how cool your house is. When we made it the other day at um, our homesteading class, it took quite a few hours for it to harden up. Um, I think the room was really warm and it was hot that day. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the scent, and you know what? Two, three, four, five drops I think is plenty. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and for the smaller ones, maybe three. And you know, smell it afterwards and see if you think it's, it smells like there's enough in there, and if not, you can add a couple more drops. This stuff is amazing. Okay. So what we're going to do with the wicks, straighten them up. They actually have a little sticker dot that you can stick on the bottom and actually put it in your jar before you even start. I forgot to get those, but you know what? We did it in class without, and it was fine. So there you go. You just kind of straighten out the bottom, stick it in, and for the most part, it should work. Once it hardens up, this one's going to be stubborn because I see that it kind of tweaked on the side there. I think I'll use this for one of the smaller ones. There you go. And even if it falls over to the side, guys, once it uh, hardens up, it'll be fine. And then we have to trim the wicks. Well, I may have to replace that one because I think it kind of got bent. But you know what? If they don't want to work with you, here's your trick. You just bend a pencil over it. This, this jar is a little bit bigger than the others. This might not work with a pencil. For these, I want to show you what we did in class. I showed them how to just wrap the wick around a pencil. There you go. It may not be completely perfectly straight, but it's okay. Some of them will stand, some of them will not. There we go. I think I'm going to have to invest in the dots because I think it's a lot easier. But anyway, guys, this is where we're going to stop for now. And then once this is hardened up, I will come. we will come back and show you the end results. Okay. I want to show you guys real quick. I made one with beeswax. I only had a little bit of beeswax left. But I want to show you how much quicker that one has set up. These take forever. I'm doing one with paraffin right now. We cracked that up. 
I've got it going on the stove top and I will show you the difference between this one, the soy and the beeswax. But I wanted to show you if you're interested in making candles with beeswax and are in a crunch and need them done quickly, I would say the beeswax is the way to go. The uh, soy wax takes quite a bit longer to harden up. Okay guys, I'm excited to reveal the finished product. It took probably a good 45 minutes because our home is maybe not as cold as some. <coughs> Excuse me. The cooler your house is, the quicker they'll be done. I have to say though, um, the one made with the beeswax set up almost immediately. So if you're in a pinch and you want to make a candle for a gift or something quickly, I would do the beeswax because it's done almost immediately. Also, the paraffin, this is the paraffin from this block here, um, what set up quite a bit quicker. So um, that too could be an option. Um, with the paraffin, I would add color because it's just a plain kind of looking candle. Where this is so creamy, I love it. I would never add color to the soy or the beeswax, but the paraffin I would. And you know, you could use the coloring that they have at um, Hobby Lobby, or you could use some of your own, like maybe um, beetroot or spirulina or turmeric or something to color it. Um, so as far as the wick is concerned, you're probably gonna wanna cut it about where your finger touches. So like so, I would cut off about that much, not too much more. You don't want it real long either though, because then it starts to flame and causes issues. But anyway, this is a step-by-step -step easy uh, candle making. Uh, everybody should do it. It's a lost art. So what we do is we take the beads or we take um, the block. We stick it in our um, handy dandy little wax melter. You don't have to have this, but it makes it easy to pour. So you could do it, like I said, in a glass mason jar, but your fingers might get burnt. So this is just an easy little thing that you can maybe pick up at a garage sale. I got it at Hobby Lobby years ago. Um, but that makes it a whole lot easier to pour. But so then you just put your wax in there, you melt it for a few minutes, you pour it into your jar, put your wick and your scent in, let it cool, and voila guys, candles. It is that simple. I hope that you all will give it a try. Um, let me know if you have any questions. It's so simple. Um, teach your children. But I hope you like what you saw today, and if so, Give us a thumbs up, tell a friend about it, um, follow our journey, and help us grow our channel. And until next time, guys, God bless you.